Well, I really appreciate what UMass has done on this security detail. My man here is top notch. What I want to know is, would you take a bullet for me? State dinner tonight at the University of Massachusetts. Uh, it's 99.9% .9 accurate to a state dinner. My name is Roland Messnier, and I was the executive pastry chef at the White House for 26 years. The longest running chef the White House ever had. Basically what we're doing right now is preparing for the tasting for the state dinner. So everything that we're preparing is gonna be a replica of the actual dinner itself, but only in single courses, so that Chef Messinier can come in, taste it, give his critique, and we can make the appropriate changes for the actual dinner. Very fresh, very nice. Yes. I like the, the mousse, the texture is great. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice amount of food. And the, the, what the, the, the beef is cooked just Perfectly. where it should be, there, yeah. you know. Medium, right? Yeah, medium. Okay, let, me do, let me do a demonstration here. Perfect. Very important at this point. Looks good. That I get, that I get up, okay. okay. Uh, you, you're gonna so be coming with the dessert. And then you're gonna go around. Right, basically. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, showing the dessert. Oh, see, you. like this, look, Ooh. look, look, look. Yeah. look. You see, that's how you do it, you see. We want a small, small portion of very, very delicate food. Like we have lobsters, you know, with a cucumber mousse. So the color is great because you have the, the red of the lobster on the outside, and then you have the green of the cucumber mousse. And then we have a, a caviar, a little caviar on top with the peach colored caviar sauce. So that's really beautiful and so delicate and easy to eat. On the main course, we had the filet of beef that was cooked perfectly. And the quality of the beef was extraordinary. And his little veg with it was so delicate. And again, perfectly cooked. And the colors was tremendous. The preparation for, for, for this event, uh, uh, for the state dinner, began about six months ago um, in conversations with Chef Roland in planning out exactly which dessert we were going to make and then how it was going to come together. Well the main dessert is a white chocolate pistachio mousse dome covered in cantaloupe and fresh raspberries served with a raspberry coulis, a raspberry sauce. And there's a, a selection of pâté four uh, as well, small little bite-sized pastries. Now many people come to a steak dinner not so much for the food and that but to see other people, how they dress, how much jewelry they have, you know, it's more like almost a paparazzi thing to go to a state. Please help me welcome the President of the United States of America. So it's a combination of things to have a dinner that is really successful at the end. And tonight he will be contacted just as such. You are a guest of the President of the United States. Like when you go to anybody's home, what do you eat? What they give you? If you go to the White House and you ask for a sandwich, they give you a dirty look. That's all what you get, okay? They're not even going to explain to you why. If you can't figure it out, you have a real problem. The only thing that, that they don't have at the White House is an MC. But I, we need to have an MC to teach the people tonight here what a state dinner is. And I'm the one doing that. What you got is what you eat. No doggy bag, no cell phone. If somebody's cell phone goes off, it will be collected and we're going to put it in a huge blender in the back of the kitchen and we'll puree your cell phone. This year we have a little over 3,500 uh, seniors been living with us for four years. We always uh, try to find some way to say thank you, you know, for the business and thank you for them to dine with us for the past four years. We think um, the state dinner, uh, we call it official uh, UMAP president state dinner, something for us to say 
uh, show appreciation, say thank you to them, and also we want to create experience that something that we think uh, they will remember, you know, when they graduate. One thing I remember about UMass, maybe uh, we attend a state dinner in our final year.